What is up guys, Orange Now on here, and welcome back to another episode on, of course, Casino Boy Chronicles 3. In the last episode, we of course managed to make our way towards Colony Lamba, and of course, we met up with a new hero known as Commander Izzard. Or of course, Dawn Hero Izzard. He is a healer, and he'll be coming along with us. So, but actually I'm going to change up the party a bit. I'm not going back to Eno, um, but we are going to go with, um, we're going to go with Tetch for a bit. We're going to go with Tetch for a bit. And now, it's time to continue the story. Looks like a pretty rare specimen. Eyes over here! You may have noticed I changed up the class a bit. I changed up, um... I changed the, I changed the tactician class for, from Tile to, um, Lens. Alright, now let's continue on with the story. Let's check on the map. Let's check on the map. See if there's a place we can skip down to. Yeah, I don't think we're ready to go up against that right now. We're a little too, we're a little on short right now. We'll come back later. Well, Drag you. Alright, let's 
chain him up. Chain attack time, baby. after an extended period, after our bodies start to heat up. To me, it sounds like a warning for something. A warning? What do you think will happen if we leave it? Huh? I don't have much desire to find out. Think it's something dangerous? Well, it can't be anything fun. You expect balloons and confetti with that noise. <laughs> Maybe not. took some huge risk. Oh, come on now, guys. Jay's been on the bench all this time. I get why he might be a little stimulated by a bit of drama. Well, it was pretty dramatic, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> you seem pleased with yourself. P. O. N wants to see you. Does he now? Mm. Is it our turn to shine? I don't know. I've got zero idea what's going through his brain sometimes. Not even you. I'm sure Em could tell you. Not that she's shown herself recently. 
What could it be? I do hope it's something fun. Let's be off, though. Right, yo! Have a good one. <laughs> Creepy. Are you tired? A bit. That last monster was really something. I can deal with it. Yes, well, in that last battle, we all overused our Ouroboros abilities. I want to avoid interlinking. I want to avoid interlinking again for a while. Good shot. Couldn't we keep going just without interlinking? That comes with its own risk. Small, but risks nonetheless. I'm just asking you to keep it in mind. Sure, whatever. Shall we find somewhere to have a quick rest then? It appears there should be a good place to take a break up ahead. We'll regroup once we get there. Roger that, boss. Bounce. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop right here, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. If you wanna check around this way. We could do with some food. Let's save up the game. It's good to keep a record. Alright, let's discuss some things before we level up. Actually, we'll level up first.
definitely feel stronger. Let's grab some gems. Indelible marks. Where should I start? It looks like our marks don't disappear even after the flame clocks are smashed. Yeah, we're only freed from the tyranny of the flames. It's true, a mark once made cannot be erased. And once my tenth term ends, I'll be gone after all. It's not all doom and gloom though, yeah? Being free from the clocks, that's already something. Things feel different somehow. I know what you mean. It feels less anxious, like I can breathe a little easier. Exactly. And, and ultimately, everyone has a choice. Everyone has to choose their actions for themselves. Freedom from the flame clocks expands one's options immeasurably. I think that's huge. Yeah, everyone's gotta die sometime. At least this way they get to live the good life first. Uh, the good life? What do you understand by that? Uh huh? Well, I mean, like, eating good, grow up and stuff? Yeah. I don't know what I expect asking you. Oh, you got a problem? Heh <laughs> good life, though. I could go for a bit of that. Yeah, me too. Let's lay out the facts. I hear Colony Lamba's having a difficult time now that they can't use the canteen. Yeah. We did kind of tear up. We did kind of tear up the place. Hmm. But if there's anything we can do, we could cook something up for them. That's only going to help them in the short term. Then what? Don't tell me you want to build the, them a whole new canteen. That's a surprisingly reasonable idea, Lance. Oh well then. I'll just cobble one together, shall I? We couldn't do the labor ourselves, but Lambda's a big colony. It can't hurt to float the idea. I imagine talking to the captain of the manufacturing unit would be a good place to start. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Yeah, the sooner this gets resolved, the better. It's just another st standard quest. The missing offseer. I think we need to discuss this. So Landa's offseer Shijima has apparently gone missing. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Agnes officers often work in pairs, right? Yes, I think most Agnian colonies make use of similar arrangements. Are both of them missing then? All we've heard is that the one named Shijima has headed has headed has headed into the tunnels. By now he may he might have kind by now he might have come out of the rare ball tablet in the Fornis region. Something might have happened to make him wander off like that. We should look for him. And we best hurry. The longer we wait, the more difficult the search is likely to be. Guess we can do this. So wouldn't hurt. All right, let's rest. <sighs> now we'll just go. We'll, we'll do that another time. Ah, there you are. Once we have time. I don't want to either, but aren't you on tent duty today? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'll head back in. Oh. It's all finished. Huh? We already packed it all up. Then what was the point of telling me? Don't you have better things to do? Hey, you owe us one. <sighs> I'm just joking. Are you okay? What do you mean, okay? These last few days, it's been a lot, right? That's why you're concerned? Yeah, you got it. We were worried. Your problems are our problems. 
Just because someone says they're doing okay, doesn't mean everything actually is fine with them. You know, there's a word for people like you. Hmm? Busy bodies, all of you. Now, Tyre, that is completely uncalled for. <laughs> huh? You two really must be bored stiff. Good grief. Everyone needs to let off steam. Is my life that entertaining to you? <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, that watch. Our lifetimes run for ten years only. But this pocket watch has already lived for longer than that. By being passed from Nimue's hands to mine. What Guernica said to us on that battlefield. I don't know what you made of it exactly, but frankly, to me, it was a load of nonsense. Not even enough to push us together. But that's changed. If Nimue's life is represented by her dreams, then in remembering those, I carry her life with me. Perhaps now, I can give a purpose to my life. She'd live on if I were to pass her dreams on to others, right? Heavy. Also, I've done some thinking. If I had just, say, ten more years, no, even five, with just a bit of borrowed time, how many more memories could I fit inside this little pocket watch? And that's why you're here now. Well, that's half of it. What's the other half then? Oh, uh, well... In fact, just forget it. Oh, come on. You've already told us that much. Might as well give us the whole story. This is just not the place or time for it. That's all. Lame. Still, it was a nice chat. Dreams in objects. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Thanks, Tyon. We came here to cheer you up a bit. And got food for thought instead. Oh, sure. Anytime. Yeah. Huh. Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. Uh, let me get rid of that. Continue on. What the? Whoa! Oh, that was a supply drop. I don't want to continue on. I want to. I don't want to double back. We'll have to climb up here to exit the Great Falls area. If you're having a hard time, Mimi, I'll be more than happy to carry you. There's a unique monster here. This one's got character. Shall we tango? Gallivanter Buckley. This will be a challenge. Don't lose focus. We'll give them the fight of their lives. But a lot of the table is a unique monster. Let's launch a good honor. Here, here, come on.
Perch in attack. Finish it off. Titan Rock. There's a Furanus over there. Get Hulk.
monsters here. Fifteen. We got enough. For an assault. Reboot it. You can now use the newly arrived knock on Kevin's respawn. Good place to take a breather. This ether cylinder topped, topped up? Man, not quite. Should we'll enter your tunnels to sweep Tinsy bit of ether back in not long, okay? this rest area. I'll draw up the rotor for guard duty.
Hey. Those ruins. They look like... Like towers from... Looks like we got some, um, Agnian soldiers here. Wouldn't hurt to tussle with them. That's Keves Castle, all right. First time seeing it. Alchemos. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see Great Sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Back to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Those buttons are recognizable. Commander Ethel, Faunus forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? Mum, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preamble, Ethel. N. Mum. Not 
only is its power without equal, it has another exquisite benefit. Let me show you. Show us. What? You mean right here and now? Indeed. This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. The Orion Mountains? A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. Anyone else just see that? Whoa! What? What? What was that? Just thunder, isn't it? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But this can't be good. Is that Colony 4? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we 
You better watch where you're going, though. At least. So what was on your mind earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... Could it have been something that Mobius did? Perhaps. Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah, I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Kevers and the consoles, or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Mm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure, isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Hmm. Hey, do we want to wrap? Old way camp. Who is this and what you want? We're gonna pick up a stone and make a register. Good to add more names. We could do with some food. Then we can end off the episode. Where should I start? Riku, I've been thinking, they're not on caravans, they move around on Levinus's, correct? Correct! What up? I just realized regular Levinus's cannot normally operate too far from their home colony due to ether cylinder limitations. So how is it that the caverns get around everywhere? Reason is simple. Caravan Caravan Levinus is small and lightweight. Also not loaded up with weaponry and fundamentally not expected to fight. That why e that why ether consumes him much lower. I see. Yes, that makes sense. That explains how they're able to operate over long distances. In other words, very green energy. Huh? How can energy be inexperienced? It just means power consumption consumption is low. Understood. Thank you for explaining, Riku. It's been a good learning experience. I guess all right, we can... let's get going. All right, guys, we're going to stop right here. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.